NBC 24's Kim DiGiulio met up with the Toledo, Ohio Ghost Hunter Society at a local cemetery that's rumored to be haunted. All right, here's a look at some of what some describe as paranormal activity. We're here at the Wolflinger Cemetery in Secor Metro Park, and we're going to do an investigation today, right, Harold? Sure. Thanks for inviting me down, Kim. Yeah, we're at Wolflinger out here in Berkey, Ohio, and yeah, we plan on doing an investigation here. We have some rules. You never panic. You never run. I just felt drawn to this place. Um, obviously, I, I documented and captured some, some what I think is paranormal activity. Wolfinger Cemetery is said to be haunted by the three Wolfinger children. This is Thomas, Rebecca, and Ernest. And one little girl named Eliza. And tonight, we're going to see if we can communicate. This is called an ovulus. Turns EMFs into words. Yeah, there's, there's three different stories that's linked to the cemetery. The three children that passed away within a week of each other. They have been known to be playing in the, the around the back, down the fence lines and seen at night. Rebecca, Thomas, Ernest, hi kids. Um, if you kids can hear me, I don't want you to be afraid of us. We are your friends. Um, there's a young lady here. She would really like to communicate um, with any of you guys, if it's possible. Can one of you guys approach us, use the energy from some of the equipment, um, drain Greg's battery? Oh, hug. Okay. Um, um, hugs back to you. While filming, I was holding the ovulus and a digital voice recorder. Listen to the audio picked up by the video camera. A class A EVP is like if I say, hey, Greg, how are you? And you understand yeah. it. Yeah. Can you go turn what this I said. that way? So that's, yeah. Yeah. So like the one with the attic one. That's really cool yeah. getting that change. Well, we had one uh, just uh, not that long ago where we did a home. Mean. Sometimes when it doesn't manipulate that, it's plainly heard in there. Now, listen to the audio picked up on the digital voice recorder at the exact same time. A class A EVP is like if I say, hey, Greg, how are you? And you understand yeah. it. Yeah. You can turn what this I said. That way. Makes sense? Yeah. yeah. So like the one, the attic one. That's really cool. Yeah. That well, we had one uh, just uh, not that long ago where we did a home. Mean. Notice how right before the ovulus detected the word, the digital voice recorder picked up some interference. Not every year do I get something, but every couple of years I'll come back and we'll be running some uh, uh, audio recorders and we'll pick up an EVP of a girl. I guess I'll never know for sure if I spoke with the three Wolflinger children or Eliza that night. Based on the words coming through the ovulus, it's clear that somebody or something was with us, but the messages are still unclear. Hopefully, the Toledo, Ohio Ghost Hunter Society can piece it together. Is there any way that you could pop in for one second and say goodbye to Kim? There was no response. Kim DiGiulio, NBC 24.